I'm doing the world a favor like driving a Lambo around. So you know everyone can now appreciate its beauty. Hey what's up everyone? So today I'm in the 2011 Lamborghini Gallardo LP552 and I hope you can hear me despite the engine sound which is super loud. So before I begin, I want to thank sgcarbrokers.com for making this car review possible. If you have any car related matters, you can check out their website, get in touch with them because they do things like car insurance, COE loans, buying your car, selling your car, scrapping your car and all that kind of stuff. It's an all-in-one kind of platform for you to get all your car related matters settled. Okay, so this is the second generation facelifted Lamborghini Gallardo. And this is the LP552 which means it's rear wheel drive. The regular Lamborghini Gallardo that you see, the sort of default Lamborghini Gallardo is the LP564 which is the all wheel drive variant. But this is the slightly less powerful, mechanically simpler, lighter and generally more fun to drive uh, Gallardo. So let me break down the car name for you. Lamborghini obviously is a brand. Gallardo, that's how you pronounce it with the Y. Gallardo, not Gallardo. Because Gallardo is a Spanish word and double L's in Spanish is pronounced as a Y. So it's Lamborghini Gallardo. LP stands for the engine position, which is mid rear engine. In Italian, it's longitudinale position something. Uh, I'm not gonna attempt to say it but yeah it refers to the engine position 550 refers to the horsepower so this car has about 550 horsepower and dash 2 stands for the drive so this car is rear wheel drive okay so first things first my initial impressions of the car number one I noticed that there's literally no space for me to rest my left foot like I have to put my left leg up like this unless you drive the car with both your left foot on the brake right foot on the throttle like a race car driver you're not going to have any space to rest your left foot second, the ride is very firm you can, I don't know if the camera is going to shake that much I think it's firmer than your regular performance cars this is super firm number three, it's like you're sitting in an F1 kind of position almost what I mean by that is that F1 drivers, they can just see above the steering wheel and I feel the same way in this car, like yeah, my eye level is just above the steering wheel the dashboard is also quite big so it's a bit difficult for me to place the car because I don't know where the front of the car is and because the car is so low I have to go very slowly over speed bumps which is the same case uh, in the Lamborghini Huracan Okay, this car does 0 to 100 in about 3.9 seconds, something like that. The regular Gallardo does it in about 3.7. And I believe that's because this is rear wheel drive. So there's lesser grip. So yeah, 0 to 100 timing is slightly affected. The exhaust is like constantly barking at me, even when I'm driving slow, like in gear 2 at like 40 kilometers an hour it's just barking at me all the time by the way if you're wondering how the hell you drive this thing because there are only three buttons here there's no like traditional gear lever i have a video of how to drive this lamborghini gallardo with the e-gear transmission the one in this car and i'll put a link somewhere here or in the description below you can check that out and because this car has a like pedal pop kind of color and because it's a gallardo it's really really striking and because the exhaust is so loud it just grabs everyone's attention like wherever I drive I can see people just looking at me I don't know whether that's a good or bad thing the owner of this car told me to put it into sports mode and try not to drive in automatic mode because he says it's not really good for the car so I think maybe it might wear the clutch out faster so yeah I'm gonna leave it in sport and just drive around in sport mode so by the way, you have three modes over here, Sport, Automatic and Corsa. Sports mode is the one I'm in right now, Automatic is Automatic and Corsa is Race mode which is uh, like the full Lamborghini experience. The traction control uh, is still on but you can of course turn it off which I'm not going to because yeah, I'm just not going to. The steering is also very heavy. Uh, yeah, it's really like the epitome of a sports car slash supercar because it has all the characteristics of a supercar 
heavy steering you know there's not a lot of space it's very low suspension is very firm visibility isn't that good yeah speaking of visibility when i look out my rear view mirror the only thing i can see is that really nice carbon fiber rear wing um yeah that's about it but the side mirrors are actually very useful i can see a lot out of it so that helps with like you know reversing and pulling out of uh, parking spaces this car i feel like it's kind of like scolding me for driving so slow i'm driving at about 80 on the highway and i feel like it's if the car could speak it would be like cursing me like why the hell are you going so slow release me you know like don't be such a pussy <laughs> power is instant. The moment I tap the throttle, I feel the surge of the power coming in. And the engine brake on this car is actually very strong. See like not right now I'm in gear 1. And when I let go of the accelerator, I, like my head will hit against the back of my seat. I don't think you can see from this footage but I've been driving past, uh, what road is this? Geelang Road. And like eight, no, maybe seven, seven and eight out of ten people I drive past will be like looking at this car. So they'll be looking at the car, and when I drive past, they'll be just. It's a very interesting feeling. Yeah, I'm doing the world a favor by driving a Lambo around. So you know, everyone can now appreciate its beauty. That's what James May said in Top Gear. I think it was the Romania special episode where he himself was driving a Gallardo Spider so you know like yeah I'm doing everyone a favor so yeah back to the transmission um, when you shift it manually yourself right now like I'm doing you can feel it uh, like jerking below you but sorry that came out wrong <laughs> I mean you can feel it like moving below you but and it's jerky yes but it doesn't like it doesn't kick you in the back of your head that it's not that jerky Especially when I compare it to the DCT, the Huracan. That one is super smooth. You know, this is the kind of car that you need to be on top of your game to drive. You can't drive it while you're sleepy or when you are not feeling it. If you're not feeling it and you drive this, you will feel it. Exterior-wise, this is one of the most good-looking cars ever produced, in my opinion. The proportions are just right. I've seen this car so many times, but every time I see one on the road or in a car park or whatever, I will definitely like look at it again. That's how beautiful it is. It's just so pleasant on the eyes. And this car is also quite small. It's only about 4.34 meters long. So that's about as long as your Toyota Vios. It's slightly shorter than a Vios. But it's quite wide. It's about 1.9 meters wide. So that's a bit wider than your Toyota Estima. Estima is about 1.8 meters wide. This car is 1.9 meters wide. Interior wise, material quality feels excellent. And you know, there's a lot of leather everywhere. You don't get any cheap plastics whatsoever. Everything is just, yeah, leather, leather, very nice leather. The buttons here work almost the same way as in an Audi because you know Lamborghini is owned by Audi so like for example you just press the fan button once and use the knob here to adjust the fan speed you get the clicking sound you get in an Audi so listen to that practicality wise I think you know where this is going it's a Lambo it's a supercar it's not gonna be practical these are the smallest door bins I've ever seen in any car there's no center storage. I don't think there is. The glove box is very small. But you do have a trunk in front where you can keep some stuff, maybe like two or three grocery bags. And you also have this like sort of space behind the seats here where you can keep a few things like your bag here. You can keep a bag. Uh, maybe you can keep like three or four bags behind here. And there's also a netting so you can keep some of other stuff there. And uh, yeah, that's about it pretty much. So overall, what do I think of the car? Um, what I like about the car, number one is the looks. I love the way this car looks. It's really, really beautiful. Number two, I like the power. It's instant. The power in this car is instant. No questions about it. Number three, I like how raw and unfiltered this car feels. <laughs> Number 
it feels how a Lamborghini should feel not practical a bit ridiculous makes you smile every time you drive it that's how this car makes me feel that's the whole point of a Lamborghini what I dislike about the car to be honest not much maybe the only thing I dislike is yeah I can't think of anything <laughs> sorry so that's about it guys thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it do subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video